G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of DigitalScrapbookingHQ.com and I'm here to show you how you can upload your scrapbook layouts to Persnickety Prints and get them printed. So the first thing you want to do is go to PersnicketyPrints.com then click Login. Now, don't worry, if you're a new customer, you still click Login, you can create an account here and then fill in all of your details. So here's where you can choose what kind of product you want to get from Persnickety Prints. They have a lot of different options and they're all super great quality. I like to get prints from Persnickety Prints, so I'm just gonna click on Prints and Enlargements. Let's click Get Started. Now, for the purposes of this example, we're going to be uploading some new photos today. But if you've already uploaded your photos in the past, you can just click Use Photos from My Account. So let's click Upload New Photos. Now you can go to your computer and find your pages that you want to upload. And you can click and drag to drop them in or you can browse to them on your computer. I'm just going to continue to click and drag. And then when you've selected all your files, you just need to wait for them to upload. Okay, now it's just uploading the last image and it's all done. Then we can click done or we can name this album so I'm going to leave it with the date I'm happy with that because then I know when I've uploaded them um, but if you are working on a project and you're coming in and doing it bit by bit you want you might want to change the name to a different name I've got all kinds of names over the years I've been using persnickety prints for many years now let's click done we're just going to use select the album we're going to use the one we've just selected select all and click order prints on the bottom right we're going to have them ship to home because I'm in Australia I certainly won't be picking up in store and I'm going to choose the print sizes to choose a photographic print and I want my pages printed at 12 by 12 inches. Here we go. Let's click next. And now we get to choose what kind of paper we like. I like to go for matte photographic prints. But if you like super sharp images and you don't mind the shine, then you can choose glossy photographic or you could go for something really special with a metallic print. So at this point, we can edit our entire order or edit the individual order. So if for some reason we want to get a couple of copies of any specific page, we could do that. But I'm happy to just order one of each. So I'm just going to type one here. And you can see here's my total for just one copy of each photo. Now we can proceed to the checkout. Now when you come to the checkout page, you will see all the usual stuff, your address, contact details. You can also choose to have your photos burnt to CD if you would like. And then you can select My Deals. So if you've ever picked up those great print deals from Persnickety Prints, here's how we add it on. And I've got my prepaid prints all ready to go. And then you can also add any promo codes and special instructions. And then we click continue. Now it confirms everything and we can add our payment method here and go ahead and order it. Persnickety prints have great turnaround times. Even when I've ordered from Australia, I've received my prints within a couple of weeks. If you're in the US, it can be anywhere from a few days to a week to get your um, prints in your hand. Now, if you do order at peak periods or 
while we are all self-isolating and ordering our photos, it, there may be a slight delay, but they are very consistent and reliable. In the last six years that I've been shopping with Persnickety, I've always been thrilled with the results. And I hope you are too. So I hope this helps you uh, learn how you can upload and order prints from Persnickety. Thanks for joining me. And if you'd like to learn more about printing your photos or Photoshop elements, head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com.